Hello, and welcome to TFYLP Microcasters. Uh, I'm joined by the usual crew, uh, Christian, and uh, apparently Anna's hiding. Surprise. <laughs> what? Are you doing the thing I did when my kid was like a toddler where you're like peekaboo, kind of playing peekaboo with the audience or what? Yes, that is what mm. I'm doing. For the audio listeners, I was hiding behind Optimus Prime. So, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I guess they wouldn't realize what's uh, what's going on if you're listening to They would to not. It. They would not. No. So tonight, you are, strange man. Well, I'm getting there because Anna threw me off. So, uh, I'm Lucas. So, <laughs> my job. there you go. I, I should just have you introduce me, Christian. So, yeah. And this is Optimus. He's dead. Yep. So as as this tradition here on Microcasters, we will do an, yet another repaint of Earthrise. <laughs> I feel like that's all we do, other than well, you know we throw in an Anna show every once in a while. When the new figures come out, we do them, and then we cover them two more times each as they get repainted. We can uh, we can cover my. Half legless double dealer here. Why is he half legless? So, um, we were talking about it last night, and I guess like somebody was like, "Oh, watch out for the legs because it's a doozy when you're transforming it to bird mode." And I didn't watch out, and I so I, I'm in the middle of trying to get the leg back on, but it's a challenge because the the way that they did it. Like, with the legs, like, on the mushroom peg, there is, like, this extra little indent to so it doesn't spin all the way around. So, actually getting everything back on and attached to the leg is actually somewhat difficult. So, I'm, I'm still working on it. So, I'm sure I'll get, I'll find a way eventually here. But. That sounds stressful. It's a good thing I don't have that toy. It is a bit of a doozy. Yeah. The collapsing bit is... Have you have you transformed your double dealer yet, Christian? I did. Yeah, so, but apparently DC. you didn't accidentally like sever the I leg off like I, I did. I, yeah. I know how to use toys appropriately. Yeah. Well, Jeez, yeah. cut in deep. You're gonna hurt Lucas's pride. At least He's I'm the first one. At least I'm the first one to do it, so that you know if Anna gets the toy and she does it, like you know she doesn't have to feel bad. She's like, well, Lucas managed to sever the leg off first, so. That's okay. Half I've got one with... still in box. I need to open, so by making fun of you, I've now cursed that one to break. <laughs> Half just, the time when I, when I play with retail toys, they just end up like in a pile of arms and legs when I try to transform them anyway, and I have to rebuild them, so I'm sure I will destroy it. It'll be good times. So, yeah. Yeah, Catherine in the chat says that uh, we should have done like a black and white filter for the show. Uh, I see. I've been thinking about that, and that <laughs> will be part of the review tonight. So let's get started by talking about alternate universe Optimus Prime, which is a really awkward way of saying dead. Yeah, he, he did. The naming convention is actually quite humorous for this, considering you know our release is alternate universe. The Japanese version is sleep mode. No one really wants to just say this is an Optimus that is dead. I, uh, Although Optimus that is dead would not be a great name for a toy. I didn't actually realize it was named Alternate Universe <laughs> Optimus Prime. Like I had to go look that up on Amazon because it's like, like uh, I don't think Dead Optimus is like what they actually call him. So no, it's not. I wanted to start just real fast. I sometimes talk about boxes. I just want to mention this box here. I really think the box is an interesting contrast between they try to do something fancy and artsy. Because if you could tell from me holding it in front of an Optimus awkwardly, it is Optimus Prime's chest. It opens like Optimus Prime's chest. That's kind of cool. It has a picture of characters from the 86 movie in the window. But it's all done on a cardboard box. You know, it's all just on this like brown background of a cardboard box. So it's like, let's fancy up a box after we've already made the commitment of going playing cardboard. It just feels a little misguided. Like if this was red... It would be that much cooler. Yeah, but it's 
you know, dead Optimus, so you don't want it to be red. There you go. So. There you go. It needs to be made out of recyclable cardboard because <clears throat> it's already dead. There you go. I felt the same way. The design is really cool, and then it's just the normal, like, selects box. Yeah. It's big. It's weird. Right. It's you, know what's, you know what's also not cool is, is that uh, the packaging from Amazon, I don't know if yours was crushed but my my box like came pre-crushed because they didn't package it right which is kind of an issue oh, in general like it's, it's one of those things where you know like now that I'm ordering a lot of stuff from like Walmart and Amazon and whatever instead of like Big Bad Toy Store like they do not care at all <laughs> like when they're like shipping this stuff out uh, on you know, Walmart or whatever. So you used to like chosen prime where they like lovingly put it in there and like, you know, put all this, uh, packaging around it or whatever to tuck foam it in around with it. a kiss. And- exactly. But then, you know, the, the dude at Amazon or whatever really it's, you know, doesn't care at all. and probably has to fulfill like 300 orders in an hour and it's just sh- shoving stuff in a box somewhere. So, you know, who's been the worst so far with all of that target. Really? I've gotten three packages out of my giant order and the seekers that I ordered. And one of those things had one inadequate sheet of half deflated bubble paper. The bubble, bubble thing. Not bubble wrap, but the airbag. Now, ones. it can't it be worse deflated. than my Walmart Ghostbusters figures. So, like, those collector oh ones that came. So, one of the figures, because they all shipped individually, right? So, like, two of them, somebody lovingly put it in there, like, and you know, put a bunch of bubble wrap and all that in there, right? One of the figures came in a bubble mailer, but it was, surprisingly, it was fine, right? The last one, the person took the card, like, bent it in half in order to fit it into a box that was too small, didn't put any bubble wrap in it, so... Nice. Yeah, it was awesome. Welcome to TFLP Microcasters, where we talk about packaging. Uh, I mean, so the thing that's frustrating is I normally don't care. Like, for for this kind of stuff with Optimus, like, I'm honestly not really probably going to even keep the box. Um, But, like, it's annoying with the, like, I feel like the things that I actually want to keep mint and sealed box because I like the packaging, like, somehow that's the stuff that I get online that ends up being ripped or, like, bent and and all that kind of thing, so. My worries about damage to the actual figure because like this thing kind of came with like the the cute little door thing everyone's is kind of pre-caved in a little bit like this right. front is not very strong so you know a poorly packaged job a nice dent in the carrying box could have put a nice dent in the front of this could have put a nice crack in optimus because he didn't have like a piece of plastic over him or anything it was just you know the plastic insert and that was it so it'd be pretty easy to damage them. So, you know, you don't want that because he already comes damaged anyway. Right, exactly. And then the the other fun thing about the toy that uh, he has battle damage where he has a nice gap in his chest. I don't know. I think I've kind of fixed mine so it's not as bad. Um, but I don't know. Anna, is yours, is yours okay? Christian, I think yours. Mine is yours was, pretty good. Yeah. It's, like, it's there. I, it's I've been bad. spent the last like week or so bending my figure so that the torso so that it would like look like this rather because it was it was really bad for a while. And I know, Christian, I think yours was bad enough that you just decided to return it to Amazon, right? That wasn't the reason, but it definitely contributed. Okay. That'll be part of the review. That will be there, part of the review. There, there you go. But yeah, that's my so, biggest yeah. frustration. Um, and I think like I had heard some of these, the Earthrise, uh, the later runs of the Earthrise primes had the same issue. And, and what happens is, is like the, like this inner chest here, like is kind of warped to where it like kind of is, that's hard to, hard to tell, but, um, th- like this part right here is like a little bit warped and it causes the figure to just be a little, like not completely flush. Um, which is frustrating. Yeah, that's what happens with it. And mine's just a little bit 
mine's not bad enough that you could see it like on a shelf or that you notice it from a distance or honestly that you notice it unless you knew what you were looking for. So I'm fine with it. But Lucas, when he showed his the first time, it was it was severe. And there are some that I've seen that are actually worse than his. So, you know, when you get this thing, I guess open it up immediately, check it in the hopes that you can get an exchange. I don't even know if it's still available. It's still available, right? Um, it was unavailable, but then now it seems like uh, it's available okay. again. Like when I checked today, it was, it was available. So. Okay. Well, if you're getting this thing and you have the intention to open it someday, go ahead, pop it open right away and check it because you might have to replace it or just cry or whatever you do when a toy is kind of sort of not broken, but flawed. Yeah. So I guess we'll um, we'll talk about the figure. If I can just for a moment, when we, I, I told myself I was going to go back and watch our review of Earthrise Optimus today. I totally did not do that. But when we reviewed Earthrise Optimus, I had barely seen the figure, right? I went over to Lucas's to see the new Earthrise stuff because I didn't buy 90% of it. Ah, Optimus just double died. Um I didn't get most of it, so I went to his house to see it, and honestly, I just left Optimus on the table. I saw another Optimus toy and thought, eh, he looks good, and just moved on and played with everything else to try it out instead, and didn't really have much of an interest in him. When I've seen him in pictures, my eyes have fixated on the proportions around the chest and legs, and that's all I've really said about him, and that's all I really said in the review, I think. But honestly, <clears throat> after having him now, this is a really, really good toy i was actually very surprised at how good the mold is just in case anyone doesn't have it you know my recommendation at the end is going to be if you like this toy go find the red one um because (laughs) you know might as well toys that are alive probably but it is just really good like the articulation is exactly what i wanted to figure there's nothing missing because i really don't care about pointing fingers the moving big part of the hand i mean they don't put that on anything, like, generations-wise. And here he has it. That's super cool. The, he just has that little touch. He has every little touch that I wish all the retail figures had. You know, no gaps. There's he His hands go in and out, but they actually have doors. You know, there's a door for his hands. That's so cool because nothing else has it. And, and that's one of the things, too, where I know Rob, uh, you know, on Ouch My Wallet last week, he got the figure, too, and he was complaining on how small it was because I don't think he's gotten any of the leader figures um, from Earthrise or Siege. And so he was just kind of shocked. He's like, oh, like, this is pretty small uh, for what, you know, what's a leader thing. But I, in my opinion, I think like a lot of these, it's, it's part of it is, is like, you know, materials and like the extra little things they put in. And like, again, you know, would you rather, like, I personally would rather pay a few dollars more and actually get the, you know, filled in arms and like, just like where they just kind of finish off the, the figure um, you know, the way that you want it. So like, I would rather have a really good figure for $50 than a big figure for $50. Me too. I'd say the last, like, I don't like most leader class figures. That's something I've noticed over the years. They're usually big and hollow and just kind of dissatisfying. You know, like I have the overlord from, I guess, Titans returns and he's one of the few leader class figures I actually like. But he's yep. still really hollow and just kind of big. I mean, he's just a neat-looking design, so that kind of saves them. Right. There's a few, yeah. like, um, uh, wh- wh- who is the other one, too? Like, there, there is a few others that, you know, were pretty decent, too, that, like, I would keep. But, like, looking back at a lot of those, like, the ones where they blew up, like, the Seekers, there was a remold of the uh, Jetfire um and and some of those it's like like i just don't know that those really have a place in my collection you know and that's why i'd rather just get like you know this kind of thing where it's like the ultimate optimus you know whatever and so i mean obviously again this is the dead optimus this is a thing it's a little different um you know the thing i'll say about this is that 
I think it's interesting. Like they did something different and tried it out. It's not just a black Optimus, um, like that we always end up getting, uh, like a black repaint. And so I like it from that case that they just like tried something new, um, you know, from that. And I do think it looks good. I mean, I think that the gray and, and, and whatnot, I think that the, like the paint on the head, like, I think it's neat how they have kind of have that battle damage and they remolded the head. Like, I think that's neat. Like, you know, a lot of those extra little touches that they did. No, I do too. I actually, when I opened this thing, so I just kind of popped it open thinking I'm going to pop it open and look at it real quick and probably end up selling it because why did I buy a dead Optimus Prime toy? And right. I opened it up and I was like, wow, that is actually really cool effect just looking at it, not thinking of it as a dead Optimus Prime, but just as a grayscale, like comic book style, you know, just like you mm -hmm. did the whole figure with an ink pen and you used different amounts of darkness of the ink in order to do the different colors. It's such a neat effect. Like, that's really cool. I almost wish he had an alternate head that wasn't damaged so I could just have him be weird inked out comic prime um, instead. But, you know, I don't have that option, but I think it's a really cool effect. It just comes off neat. I would actually like to have a whole shelf of these. <laughs> I would. It's cool. I like it. I always like things that no one else likes. <laughs> That's true. So uh, I recently said I wasn't positive enough, but here's your positivity, everyone. <laughs> I like weird grayscale figures. I want a whole dang shelf of them. <laughs> <laughs> wow sorry i like you you don't have the chat up um so no no i see what Catherine said Catherine, so totally so, right. so Catherine in the chat <laughs> said this toy is proving someone at hasbro's argument with a co-worker of see i told you that they'll buy anything <laughs> that's probably true and that's it's so true that's so true but no, now I mean, they're going to hear me say that, and they're going to be like, we should make a whole line of grayscale figures. Right, there you go. You've Don't set it off. Anna, Anna. All of them. Like, yep. Anna, Anna gets what they're putting out. So, um, Yeah, I mean, I think that the big... They have to say they're dead. They're alive. They're just grayscale. Cool. Yeah. I honestly, I do think it would be kind of interesting to all of the characters that turn gray in the movie <laughs> to do a dead version of them. Just to, I, I don't know, that'd be kind of interesting. Because then call it Transformers Sleepy Time. That would actually make more sense to me. So we, we had this whole like debate on Ouch My Wallet last week because we're like, where the heck do we put this thing at? You know, like it doesn't really go anywhere. I think you could make, like, if you wanted to make a diorama of the scene where they're all around Optimus, like, when he's dying and, you know, the Matrix is, like, he drops the Matrix and, you know, Hot Rod picks it up or whatever. Um, I guess you could do that scene with this. Like, that's probably, I guess, the only thing you could do, right? I mean, you could do anything with it. He, like, just jumped out of, like, a weird noir novel. And he's gonna attack everyone. He's Detective Prime. He's gonna be creative, guys. He's gonna have your fun with it. <laughs> yeah, we we're, we're joking too that uh, like Paul would love to have like a star scream where it's just a bag of ash and like uh, a crown. <laughs> that was originally right. my joke. I just wanna okay. I just wanna claim Sorry. that one. Sorry, you Anna. Absolutely your joke. Buy that. <laughs> he would absolutely buy that. I might buy it too, though. That's the problem. Transfer we'll sleeping time would definitely be something I'd buy. We'll call it bad comedian Starscream. There we go. So, the the fact that the fact that many of us bought a figure of a dead character is a little bizarre, a little disturbing, but it happened. Here we are. We have it. And honestly, they did a good job of making it look neat. Like, it does look neat for what it is. Now, I think that, honestly, if you're like me and you're going to do something weird when you think of it as not being dead, but some sort of inked version, then it probably actually looks cooler, in my mind, than it does to the people who think of it as a corpse. His corpses usually do not look great. 
Because I stopped thinking of his dad. I mean, he's always in action poses on my desk because he poses really well. So he just looks cool. So is that Ghost him. Optimus? Uh, no, he's just he's just weird. I jumped out of the pages of a <laughs> English comic book, Optimus. He's got a bad attitude. He doesn't so the rules. So is it like season three Optimus where he's just always kind of in the background? They don't realize he's there. Just kind <laughs> of like hanging out like behind all the other season three guys. Is that the... I thought about having him be a zombie, but he doesn't really, like... Just because of how blocky he is, he doesn't really do, like, zombie poses super well. Hmm. I checked. It's a zombie one is still red and blue for some reason anyway. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Last time I brought this up, somebody was like, actually, actually. he would be red and blue. Yeah. I know, I it's... know, whatever. Which one is the error on it? I don't know. This, this is the error <laughs> of us who bought a Dutch Season 3 is not a paragon of accuracy. It is not. So yeah, I remember, just to summarize our review, that Lucas said, perhaps just to upset Rob, that this was better than MP44 when it was released in red. So we'll just say again, totally better than MP44. Absolutely um, better than MP44. Totally, totally. I think the thing I like about this mold just in general, like it's just really fun and you want to mess with it a lot. Yeah. Like I just, for whatever reason, I love flipping it back and forth and transforming it. And I just have more fun with it than any other Optimus Prime. Um, So that's, that's the main thing. But I mean, again, I would get, like you said, the, the earth rise. I think the only situation is, is if you feel bad about having a siege Optimus prime and you, you know, feel bad about having an earth rise. Like, you know, if you want to get something like say, for example, if you're a one per character collector and, but then you can somehow justify it to yourself that this is a different character. Um, <laughs> then that's like the only situation where I would get this over the earth rise one. Yeah, that's pretty much the rationalization going through my brain right now. It's totally different because it's black and white version. Totally. But I wanted to point out, you know, just to sit, talk about the mold for one more second before we talk about something else. Um, just that, like, this thing really doesn't have much kibble. Like, it's really just the little bow in the back made of his front wheels that's kibble and, you know, the wheels on the side, but MP10 has those. So do you really want to mm. complain too much about them? It's honestly really clean and really nice looking. And the transformation is easy for once. Even I would call it easy and intuitive. I even call it intuitive, meaning that it must be really easy. And I didn't break it when I was transforming it any of the times I have, and it makes a decent looking truck. So I'm just really impressed by owning this toy now that I finally own it. I'm so glad I have an excuse to. Now, I guess we can just talk about the, the deco. Like Lucas mentioned that it has a remolded head. It's remolded in that it basically looks like someone took a lighter to it and then put it back in the mold so that it could be pressed <laughs> to do. Um, it's just kind of melted in places. No, it's it's methodically, you know, it's not randomly melted with the lighter, really. And it has a um, beat-out eyeball, so one of his eyes has been cracked away. So, you know, that's kind of cool. I actually really like how the um, the detailing on the, on the mustache or mask or whatever you want to call it ended up, just the lines drawn on it. I wasn't sure if I would like those or not, but in person I think they look really cool. They're just like a deep ink line and they look neat i don't know if they exactly look like cracks to me but they look cool <laughs> and that is basically it for changes in his deco and those of you who don't know the only real color on this toy is if you open up the matrix compartment it is still colorful it fell out yeah until it falls out yeah, it's just like the cartoon, it just falls out of his chest. He does have the Matrix, so. Yeah, it's actually color still, so that's not in black and white. I guess that's accurate, I guess. If you really care about that when you're playing with a dead man toy. But I, I do think that, you know, th this figure in general, although it's like, it's really great, you, you have to start asking yourself, you're like, well... 
So I bought this, you know, and this is like 50 bucks. And then, you know, say you bought some other silly thing, whatever. And you're like, man, I could have bought like a third party toy, like a really cool, like, uh, you know, so that, that's the only thing that's kind of tough on this that, you know, you have to start asking yourself, like, you know, do I really need this in my collection? And that's what, like, I kind of feel like, and it, again, it's it's some of these Netflix figures as well that they've shown off. Like, I mean, I have to see some of the some of the repaints they have with some of the battle damage. But I'm like, man, like, I just don't know that it's like, do you really need another impactor? Do you really need another red alert? Do you really need, like, I think it's cool that they're, again, that they're putting them out for people that were having trouble. Like, I think especially the impactor figure, I think, um, kind of came and went and I, I don't know if it's on, uh, in stock online, but yeah, like a lot of but these. But it's a bad head. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like it's why couldn't they put the good? Head. Why couldn't they put that IDW head on? It's like much the better. Head looks good. Right. This head looks stupid. So yeah, so that's where I have to like. I don't know. I'm starting to question. I'm like, man, do I really need, you know, those those extra repaints and whatnot? So I don't know. I think I, I'm, I'm been doing some soul searching and wondering if I really that need was that. me. Yep. That was me. We mentioned at the top of the show that I did have one of these and it went home to Amazon. I, I popped open the tape. Well, let me back up. When the images came out of this, I was like, hmm, that looks kind of monochromatic and bleh. Do I really need to have this? And then it went up for secret pre-order. And I was like, ooh, secret pre-order. I guess I better get it. That's where you can like add it to your shopping list and buy it from there on the secret link. That Anyway. So I did that, and I just never canceled it. And more images came. I was like, mm, I don't know. And then I watched some reviews. I was like, well, you know, it kind of looks better under light. And people were like, oh, the gray is so vibrant. And I was like, how do you get vibrant gray? Like, okay. <laughs> so I popped the tape on it, and I opened it up and looked at it. And I was like, wow, this is really monochromatic. And it had the chest damage. But mostly I was just like, wow, th this doesn't look good at all. Where am I going to put this? I don't need the corpse of my hero. So back he goes and back he went and I don't regret it at all. Yeah, I think it's interesting. Like, um, you know, I know Kilby on uh, RFC was talking about where he really did not like the look of this figure either. It's kind of the exact same thing that you were saying where he's like, <laughs> meh, like whatever. Whereas like, I feel like that I kind of have had the same reaction that Anna has had where I, I wasn't sure about the photos online, but then when I got it in hand, I think it looks really nice in hand. I still am questioning like, do I really need it in my collection? But I, I do think it looks nice for what it is. So I think that, like, if it's, you know, again, if you're thinking about picking up the Earthrise Prime and, and you know, you have it yet and, and whatever, this is an excuse to get the mold. I, I don't think it's a bad buy, but, like, I don't know that it fits in a lot of collections. So it's a great mold. I'm just, I would get Earthrise Prime over this, though. Me too. That's that's what I would recommend to everybody. Like, if you want this figure and you don't care about owning multiple Optimuses and you don't need some sort of goofy excuse like I do, just get the red and blue one. Just find him. He's fine. Or wait for the Netflix one if you don't need the trailer. Or wait, which I think would actually be the better advice. Yeah. Now, one thing I wanted to say before I set him down is that when I get this figure, I finally figured out why this figure makes Lucas so happy. Because I thought Lucas had just lost his mind when he was talking about how great this figure was. And he had it. It actually is that good as long as you don't move the leg. As soon as you move the leg, it breaks it for me. And I finally figured out what it is. It's because he actually has the same proportions as MP44, which are accurate proportions. But MP44 has separate waist skirts in the front. So when you move his leg, you still get the continuity of his waist. When you move his leg on this toy, it feels like you're just reducing the size of his torso. So that's why I had this super negative, aversive reaction to it at first. I finally know why, and now I feel better, and now I can like it. Okay, sure. So for the 1% of the population who sees it like I do... Move his leg broken. Put his leg back down. Perfect. It's Looks great. Like he's just kicking his leg. Okay. Yeah, except he kicks his entire upper chest away. 
Sure. So, um, oh, you know, I didn't even notice, I guess, like on the, on the toy, there is like a splotch of black paint underneath his chest. I don't know if that should, will that show up on All camera? Importance. I don't know Probably if I can not, actually get there. it to show up on camera. It's there. There's like, oops. Um, yeah, like right, right here, there's like a splotch of black paint too. So that's interesting. So the one thing I think is cool too is, is they painted the inside of the legs and that's like my, my only complaint about the Earthrise Prime is it annoys me that the inside of his legs are gray. And I know the Netflix, I think version they're they're, they're actually the inside of the legs blue, but then I think the chest, I don't know, is, is the chest going to be as vibrant blue or is it like more of a grayish color? It seemed like based on the pictures that the Netflix Prime um the wave two one or whatever that the the chest was gonna be a slightly different blue. I didn't notice I was paying attention to the metallics of the other colors. Oh okay. So, that makes sense. Okay, know. trailer, real fast. My thirty second review of the trailer is I hate it. Okay, bye. Goodbye, trailer. Would you like it more if you deployed its standing gear? I would like it more if it wasn't this color. See, I, I don't really mind the color as much, like, in hand um, as, um, I don't know. I, I think it's fine. A lot. I think Hasbro's current gray and white plastics just don't settle well with me. Like, this doesn't look good to me. This looks like, this looks like how my white toys looked after I had them sit around my house as a child and my parents smoked on them. You know, this looks like cigarette stain gray to me yeah. not like um not like a nice dead gray so for some people that might be some nostalgia <laughs> right <laughs> I, I suppose it's nostalgia sure so um, oh okay I, I was gonna mention though and i don't know if we were uh gonna cut well to move this down so i got chance, the non-f kit for Optimus Prime, and I know that that was one of the things we were talking about doing for Anna to show off this uh, this kit because so the regular trailer I think just looks like absolute garbage. Like I hate the way these wheels look and the, just the way this looks. I think it looks like trash, um, and the fact that like again, but so non F who I feel just as strong. Yeah, not. I, I think no one likes the trailer. I don't think that there's been anyone that no, that is. Not even you, Christian. Christian, you don't. Christian, exist. you it. like it? Yeah, I think it's fine. It's a box on wheels. That's what it needs to be. Okay, sure. It's a box on wheels. I don't think Christian bought the upgrade kit, did he? I did though. Oh, you did. Surprise. Okay. But so um, so non F uh, did a kit and you can actually get it in multiple colors. So you can get it in gray, black or uh, blue for the, like the trailer accents. Um, but it just it had so much to have those additional pieces. And so like it actually um, it works with the five millimeter ports. So then you can kind of have like to where it works similar to uh you know, whatever, his regular trailer and whatnot. So it actually looks... So what decent. changed on it? It looks exactly the same to me. What? What do you oh, mean? Oh, like, okay, so there's, like, blue chunks on the bottom it now? The, it okay. has the stand parts in the middle. It has new fenders in the back. It has a new bumper in the back. It has a new door for the back. <laughs> yeah, so I, I have not All put... Right. I haven't put the back... Like, there, there's actually a new, like, back trailer part. I didn't put that on, but it comes with like lights and, and whatnot on the back. And then and also on the inside, it comes with a, a little roller guy. So of course we're like, when we ordered this kit originally, like we didn't know we were getting a figure with a roller, but so this comes with a roller. You can get this in gray or blue. Um, and then it also comes like with the, the actual trailer itself. So like, you know, those extra little blue pieces that came in the, the regular trailer, it comes with that. It comes with this like little, like gas nozzle thing, like accessory. 
um, that you can you you can take this off and and plug it into roller. Um, it comes with these little uh, missiles for the um, for this guy and like little extenders for. Let me see here. So, like, so it makes it just look a lot more like the the G one uh, trailer and toy. Or the masterpiece, which it does look a lot more like it. So it does help quite a bit. I think my problem with the trailer, just my like visceral reaction to it, was similar to a lot of other people I've seen online after the Earthrise release. Was just this looks worse than the one I had in G one. Like the one I had in G one is nicer than this in every way, and that shouldn't be the case. You know, these figures are largely upgrades. Of what we had as kids. And the trailer is worse because it's just an accessory. So it was a bit of a bummer for me. Because it just for once, my nostalgia actually is better <laughs> than the product I'm holding. Smoke stains and all. Yeah, but I mean, I think, again, like this kit, um, you know, I also, I have not uh, applied the toy hack stickers to it yet. Um, but that's another thing I got. And I realize, again... You know, I, I'm spending, you know, whatever, 40, 50 bucks on upgrades for this figure. So then at that point, you're like, OK, you know, you're, you're starting to get close to MP10 cost. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, I think that it's really well done. I would definitely like personally, this non F kit is 100 percent worth the money. And I would. I would definitely get this. It was, I think, $25 plus shipping. So I think it ends up being like $30 um, once you factor that in. Um, but I, I would get that over the Toy Hack stickers. But the Toy Hack stickers are cool, too. They actually, um, like, have stickers to make it look similar to the G1 toy on the inside of the trailer. And then um, they have, like, for the out. So the outside, this is not painted. Um, or, I'm sorry, this is... Like, they, they put a sticker over here so it looks more like the G1 toy as well. Mm. But Yeah, wait. the kit looks nice. I think the kit does look pretty good. Um, I'd consider it if I liked the base trailer. I think since I don't like the base trailer so much, I probably won't get it. Yeah. But, but cool I think kit. it's a cool kit. I got my kit primarily for Roller before we knew that roller was coming with the centurion drone so at this point i would not get the kit but i don't regret that i ordered it prior but yeah i think that if you're if you're someone like me where it just it the trailer annoyed the heck out of me i mean honestly like the main thing and and christian we probably should have talked because you know, especially now that we're getting the roller or whatever, it's like, I, I really just wanted these pieces so that the trailer didn't look like trash. Like that was really the main I thing I cared about the same day you did. So, it, you know, it wouldn't have mattered then anyway. Yeah. But. Plus I got gray roller and that's what I wanted. Cause that's cartoon accurate. So I'm good. Yeah. And that's the thing is, is I think that the, uh, the roller coming out from Hasbro is blue, right? It is blue. So, that will upset some people. I would have been fine because I'm getting two of them anyway because I wanted two drones. It's not a big deal. I just If I had known there was a roller, I wouldn't have gotten it. But I like gray roller, so I'm good. Wait, you're getting two sets of the accessory kit? Hmm. Correct. Are you well, using those sets of the accessory kit? I haven't decided. Okay. Well, if you decide not to, Anna doesn't want to buy that drone, so... I could be interested in that kit. Mm. I don't need yeah, a third yeah. one of that mold. Wait, a third one? Oh, I forgot. Did we get another, a second one? Was that one of the... Yeah, that's Zetar. Brunt, right? It's Brunt, and then... Zetar. Oh, Zetar. I forgot about Zetar. How could you forget about Zetar? I... He's the most important character in all of G1. I'm sorry. So... <laughs> Absolutely the most important. I couldn't even get through that. 
Um, I was gonna, I was gonna mention uh, non F. Uh, I think just put the kits back up for sale, so he ran out. Um, and he finally got caught up and then he's making a second run. So if that's something that you're interested in, like I would definitely, um, like normally, you know, non F will like make a run and then he'll be done. He might make a reissue and then like, he's, he's not constantly remaking these, these kits and whatnot. So if that is something you're interested in, I think that they're very reasonably priced, um, you know, for, for what it is. I think some of the other kits, like the DNA kits and some of the other upgrade kits are a little fancier. Uh, like the only issue that I have with non F stuff is a lot of his, um, items. He like, doesn't cut it off clean. And so you end up having like sprue marks and, and things like that, like gating, um, on it. But That's I mean, fair. You know, it's Everything not I've seen about those kits looks like they're great, so I I definitely no. get it if I wanted it. A piece from the Optimus kit I can really recommend, and I hope Lucas will show it, is the inside parts that are like dia driver seats at the top of the trailer. Yeah, no, I had pieces. shown that off. I didn't know how much I miss it missed it from the G1 trailer, from the Masterpiece trailer, but having them in this trailer, yeah, those guys. Having them in this trailer now, I'm very happy. But I think again, like w- without me, without I, I those like extra stuff in there, like I mean, there's so much gray in here that that's where I think like having the roller in here, having those extra pieces, it breaks up that gray. And again, like that's that's the thing for me, like on the sides, is just breaking up some of this gray for me. I think just makes it look so much nicer. Little arm front needs stickers. Little arm friend. Well, it comes with missiles. It comes with missiles for that guy. Yeah, it helps bring it up a little bit. It just really needs, I don't know, it needs a little bit of color, which is odd because this thing is monochrome, as Christian said. But I really think, like, I might end up taking a silver Gundam marker and just doing a couple silver accents on it so that it's not just one color chunk. Um, anymore because it just really bothers me for it to be one color like that. Also, what is this about? Like, why does he wear this as a backpack? Other than it's amazing. It's a thing you can do? Because he can. Fantastic. I like this. Do more of this. Hasbro. Why? Give the backpack. So, so you notice that the back or whatever, like there's a shield, quote unquote, yeah. that pops off. I mean, that's another thing. Like, why, why did they do that? I don't know. It's, it's a play feature. That's a cool play toys. feature. I like this one. Hey, oh, combat play, deck feature. Now. play feature that mine came with that I don't think you guys just came with is one of my doors was, or one of the sides of the, um, the trailer was completely disconnected, which was really, really hard to pop back on. That's a play feature I got to play with. It was great. Yeah. It was good times. So as a as a final recommendation for this, I think we need to visit real fast the fact that this body, the Voyager figure, is being sold again soon in the second wave of the Netflix figures mm-hmm. as a Voyager with two little weapon friends. He's coming with a shield robot literally named Shielder. Um, no, it's Shieldron, not Shielder, because Shielder would be too close to a Pokemon. Hmm. But, no, he's shield Ron, which is fantastic, and I love it. And then someone else. Who's his other friend he comes with? He comes with a an golden pterodactyl, yeah. Yes. So he comes with two really fun, golden-printed little friends. And, yeah, you know, it's clear another... yellow, which is, you know, fun. It's fun plastic colors. Yeah. It's a fun $40 set, and honestly, like, I'd recommend... Paying the 40 for a really cool Voyager cab and two little weapon friends that are both okay, then paying the 50 for this trailer, unless you just really like it. Unless you just 
really need a trailer for somewhere in your display and you don't have one. I mean, I don't know. The thing is, is I, f I feel like in general that so many people complain about not having the trailer and the fact that, like, right? Optimus was not. And before this happened, or, you know, before they released Earthrise Prime, uh, people were buying, was it Cyberverse? Like, there was a, there was a version of Cyberverse yeah. where they're buying the trailer from that thing so that they could have a trailer for Optimus Prime. So I would... For their Siege one, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I would say my recommendation in general is is instead of buying this, buy the upgrades for the Earthrise Optimus Prime because I, I feel like that once you upgrade it, I mean, I think that honestly it's on... Uh, you know, other than being smaller, I mean, I think it's on, on par with... You know, it's one of the nicest Optimuses that has ever been released. Like, I mean, still have to give it to MP10 and MP44 uh, is looking nicer, but it's it's darn close. And I think for uh, for the money, so that's what um, you know. What what I would do is is I would I would just get the uh, the the toy hack stickers and the non F upgrade kit instead of getting this. But yeah, get a red one. Get a red and blue one. Probably don't get this one. Unless you're looking at it. Unless you're looking at it like I did. And you're saying this is super cool inked Optimus. Then you should get it. And you should probably you should probably talk to me. You're one of like two people in the world who would like that. Um, but otherwise, probably go find the red one. Because it is. Definitely makes more sense than buying a dead guy. Or if you're a diorama builder. I mean, if you really want to make that scene. Yeah, you totally know it. But if you're not that kind of person, then uh, yeah, get the red and blue one. Yeah, he totally looks relatively dead. So it would, it would work. So, but yeah, no, I mean, I think if you like the look of the figure and you want it and all that, it's a, it's a fantastic figure. It's a really good mold. Yeah. I, I love that. So, like, I, you know, and I think that the it looks nice. Um, it's just, again, like, do you really need it in your collection? yeah i agree with that it's cool yeah i actually like it see i can like a hasbro toy everyone always says i don't like hasbro toys i like this one see randall says he's gonna make that optimus the center of his rodimus collection display so there you go <laughs> perfect uh, yeah i like it them all dancing on his corpse <laughs> all funny. right um, right, well, what we I, got, right? yeah, uh, I was going to mention, so last night on TFLP, we did, uh, a, a show on, if you're looking to start, um, you know, collecting transformers, you know, what are some of the resources and tips and whatnot, um, uh, for starting a collection or, and also what we would do to restart our collection. So, um, so if you want to check that out, that was on YouTube last night. Um, and then there was a new episode of TF Talk News uh, last week as well. Or, I'm sorry, this week. Um, so it was out a couple nights ago as well. So if you want to check that out. Uh, and then, of course, Friday's Cut the Tape. Uh, Rick will be opening something. So um, should be interesting. So I bet on that episode you said the same thing I would have said, Lucas. I bet you said you'd skip MP if you had to start over again. Oh, 100%. Obviously. Yeah, that's what I would say, too. If I could go back and not have ever collected MP so that I didn't have that burden anymore, I would have done it. The thing I think is interesting, and of course it's it's 100% dependent on the cast that we have on, but I was somewhat surprised because, like, you know, last night we had Paul and Nick and, and Jack on, and I think, well, first off, they said that if they had to start again, they wouldn't, um, just because they just couldn't do it again. Um, but... You know, they said if they had to, that they wouldn't go with MP, that they would actually go with, you know, kind of a more more of a mainline type of thing, which I was kind of surprised about that that Paul would say that. Um, so, because I think J Jack actually said that he, did he say he wanted the best representation? I don't know. I don't know. I had to go back and watch the show. So, but. Which you should too. There you go. Viewers. Rewatch it. At home. So. All right. Well, uh, if you want to continue uh, the conversation, uh, join us in the Discord. Uh, the link should be on uh, YouTube, and uh, it should be st stickied on the um, 
uh, the Twitter on our Twitter page uh, as well. So if you want to check that out, um, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you to our commenters tonight, Randall and Catherine. Yep. Yeah. Thank you guys for uh, all the wonderful comments. So, all right. Well, thank you, and we will see everyone next week. Bye.